Hi everyone, welcome back to GameMakerCast. In this video, we're going to be finishing up the series for the tower defense game. We're going to fix a bug and add a way for the player to die. So let's roll the introduction and let's get right into it. So the one bug that's been driving me insane is if I click on the build menu and I click at a certain spot where I'm able to select my machine gun and I place it down, the build menu is still up until I click that machine gun again. We didn't code it that way, so technically that's a bug even though it's kind of working nicely. Let's fix that and there's a few different ways that we can fix that. We could easily just move all of the icons down. However, what I want to do is I want to go into my user interface, click on the shop button and before we actually show the shop panel, I want to see if we're building a tower. If we are building a tower, then I don't want to have the ability to show that instance panel. So if you remember, we do have access to a global variable. What we will be using is the instance tower to build, and this needs to equal no one in order for that shop panel to show. Now, if I hit F5 and I click on that very specific spot again, as the machine gun's coming out, you can see the panel just quickly went away, and I can place my tower, and the bug is currently fixed. So that is the bug squash. So let's move on and let's give a way for a player to die. So right now the enemies will traverse on one of our paths. And what we want to have happen is when they reach the end of the path, that's when we want to actually remove some of the health. So the easiest thing we can do is go into the object enemy. I'm going to clear everything up. And what we want is actually in the path end it right here. So right now we are removing the enemy and we need to actually just say global dot and we want to have our hit points go down by one. Now I'm gonna have the enemies continue to be on stream here. So I'm going to make sure that if my hit points are less than equal to zero, then what I wanna do is I want to keep my hit points at zero as I don't think a negative number for my health is gonna look very good. Now once my player has died, I wanna go through and destroy all the towers, get rid of the panels, the upgrades and everything like that. So the first thing let's do is let's work on the towers. Luckily enough, we actually use a parent child relationship here so we can go and we can say for the object tower parent which will cycle through any children all we want to do is say instance underscore destroy now for our panels themselves for the shop panel we can get away with calling the object and what we want to do is instead of destroying it we want to say hide which is our function so it will push our panel off to the right now, if we have our panel that is going to be upgraded, what we want to do is we also want to hide that one. And we don't want to give the ability for the player to actually click the upgrade button. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with the UI shop, which is the button. We are going to actually destroy it completely. Now, the final two things that we need to do is currently we need to make sure that we clear out that global variable for the tower to build because we don't want our player to be able to build any more towers. And the final thing is we need to look for the object mouse and set the selective sprite to no one, meaning that our cursor is back to normal. So I'm going to run my game with this little bit of code and we're going to skip ahead. I'm going to have some towers built down and I'll have the panels open. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so I have some towers in my game. You can see we have a bunch of enemies coming up here, so that should be enough to actually get a game over. I also have a tower selected and my panel is up. So once enough enemies go through there, I have six health, five, it's gonna go down to zero. We're gonna have everything all cleaned up here. And you can see everything is cleaned up. Probably the only other thing we should do is hide these placeable objects. And that's an easy one. All we really need to do is we can go through again. And for this particular thing, we could say with that placeable object, we either have the option of just destroying them or we could actually call that uh, hide function that we wrote. I'm just gonna destroy them, which will clean everything up. So with that little bit of code, we've actually created our game. We are completely finished. We squashed a bug and we also have a way for our player to die. I will leave it up to you to put a nice game over screen on, maybe a button to have a room restart, or maybe not room restart, but game restart, and that would work fine in this instance. But I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the series. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed making the tower defense game as much as I did. A special shout out to those on Patreon in no particular order. Thrice Sight, Victor, Annie, Ashby, Robert, Timothy, Edward, Ian, Alex, and Paul. If you have any questions or comments or ideas for a new series, please leave them in the comment section below. And thank you once again. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.